We are going to LA, baby. So we're busy as hell. I'm sorry I haven't posted in a while, guys. Like, we've been busy packing, getting ready. Your boy is gonna be on a TV show. That's really hype. It's nothing crazy, but I'm just, I'm hosting a TV show and I'm really excited for that. Was there a suitcase in there? Yes. There we was. We each have a suitcase and like a carry on, and then we'll each have a knapsack and then the big suitcase. All right, that's all my stuff. Emma keeps saying these are swim shorts, but they're actually workout shorts. They are swim shorts. No, they're, they're they lounge. They have netting inside. Because my balls are so big. Is that Look. I touch the floor? When you squat. Yeah. <laughs> it's really uh cool. You're you're like where are you gonna put all your skincare and your hair care? Like don't you need shampoo and For yeah, what? I guess the hotel has shampoo. For what? What? <laughs> I fed up, okay guys. No. I don't wanna leave the babies. I zoomed in completely on Max. Like literally Kobu and Milo were right there and I just completely zoomed in on Max. I know for a fact, we had this conversation the other day, <laughs> that if you, you were offered to bring Max on this trip and I wouldn't find out that you chose to bring Max over me, you would have brought Max. He knows it. He knows it. There is so much packing to do. And I don't even know what to bring to be honest because I've never been for, to LA for like that long so I don't know what to expect. I know I'm bringing a couple hats. My gym hat and my non-gym hat, which happen to be the same hat, just different. Like, one's completely destroyed by sweat and then one's not. I'm excited though. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm excited to show you guys. It, I can't tell you guys what show it is yet, but I could take some like low-key behind the scenes shots. Oh man, bright and early. It's currently 3.11 in the morning, bright and early. We're about to, waiting for Uber. Uber gets here at 3.30 and then we're off so here's all our stuff bedroom is trashed my mom is going to be taking care of the boys and we have various people coming in to check up on them so everything's going to be okay your boy's going to go on tv <laughs> i who knows where this will go right but i'm excited straight up just almost left without my suitcase but that's okay <laughs> what are you laughing at bucko So straight up, the woman that was checking me in told me that they were going to be checking me extra. And like, and didn't seem concerned about me at all. Yeah, yeah, she told Emma that she's fine, don't worry about it, like you're good. And then she looked at me, she's like, they're going to check you. They did. <laughs> and the thing rang every single time I come into the airport. Every single time, it rings on my dick. And it went three times. Three times. And then the guys stared at each other and three like, times. we don't want to do <laughs> Yeah, the security guys were like, we, we don't want to like frisk his dick. Like that's not something we want to do right now. So anyways, I pulled out this like 12 inch massive dong and then they're like, whoa. That's probably what it was. Where's my hat? Oh, there it is. Turn the car on. Wait till you see what they hooked. I swear to God, I rented a Ford Fiesta. Okay, I rented a Ford Fiesta. The guy hooked me up with a Ford Mustang. Literally, all we had to say was, we're Canadian. We're, I said, we're Canadian, and he just hooked it up. What like, an absolute f***ing gangster. All right, um, don't get me through my nose. Wow, it's deep, eh? See you later, I picked it. I watched it. I'm leaving it. I didn't. Guys, we're in the hotel room. They actually sent this beautiful bride up for me. Came free with the hotel. Uh, this is the room. Wow. How am I the one that came to LA to film a TV show and she's the one who looks like a superstar? What the? Hello. <laughs> That's my baby. Ugly? ugly? Still ugly. Ugly? Mm, gorgeous. I got my filming schedule finally. So it is 12 hour days. Your boy did not know that it was going to be 12 hour days of filming. I'm nervous. Not going to lie. I am nervous. Man, I got to say. LA, you are the coolest city ever. This is really cool. I am having a great time. I want to go to a lot of, like now I really want to go to a whole bunch of others, like cities in the States. Yeah, I mean. Like I always wanted to before, but now I like really want to try it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I like, think LA is like pretty up there. Like I think Florida you want to go to. I want to go to New Florida. York for sure. New York. I, I want to go all of them. Or, like every state is different, right? Like. They really are. You know, like. Oh, I they have very like distinct features for yeah. sure. The guy at the store, when we got our burgers, he gave us a handful of ketchup. In Canada, they give you one. Communists. 
communist, Canada. You guys are communist. Salt and pepper too. Every salt time I ask, yeah, I'm like, yo, I need lots of salt and pepper. Why are you guys rationing your know, salt and it's, pepper? I like being, yo. The thing is, is, I'm being, like, like, patriotic by ordering a patin. Yeah. You know. And then they go and do me the injustice. I think you're doing them an injustice. They probably feel like insulted me by that salt and pepper for my poutine. Like screw you. And I'm sorry, you eat ketchup on your poutine. You're an yeah. insult to Canadian. Oh wow, that is rude. <laughs> Rudy poo attitude. Everything's so fucking huge and intimidating here. Everything's so scary. Everything's it so is. big and scary. Every building is like oversized yeah. and like huge. And, like it's probably because the populations are dead here. Oh yeah, you guys are like, a bigger population than us. You guys are literally ten times bigger than us on like, everything. Everything's huge, yeah. and it takes you so long to get everywhere. Oh my god, we spent. Okay, I like, f***ed up and I drove to the wrong hotel. Oh, you idiot. <laughs> no, literally though. Okay, in Ottawa, like let's even a far drive in Ottawa is like max thirty an minutes. Hour. You know, yeah. and that's like if you're driving to the boonies. In Los Angeles, 30 minutes is like a normal, like, like that's close. That's like a quick drive. Yeah, it's like, oh shit, only half an hour away, let's go now. Like, what the f? That's insane. I, I, I couldn't half... deal with that. On a Bro, we go day. somewhere half an hour once in, you know, like early. Like, yeah, fuck, I do that like yeah. once a week, maybe. I, I spend like a half hour drive. The rest of my drives are like max 10 minutes long. Yeah, I know, fuck that. I don't like that. This is so cool though. This is a lot of fun. Look at, do you wow. show them like the little. Yeah. Difference? All the little, what is this place? Like, why? I have no here? fucking idea. No, no, no idea. Things. They're very pretty. Yeah, right? So, yeah. Um, this is the end of the, I guess this is the end of the first day. This is the end of the first day. We just got a bunch of food. This is my first time having American, like actual American burgers. Like, for real. I've never had an American burger, so. Here we go. I had American Subway once. Yeah, I think I've had American Subway. My mom took me shopping in Syracuse. I think this is the... Hey, they gave us a new remote. Ooh. All right, so first day in LA, full day right now. Um, something fun that happened last night is I almost fucking died and I'm gonna save my life <laughs> because for some reason I, I was just... I had to give you the hymn. Emma, actually, I like legit guy. Hold on, I gotta get less naked. I was just taking my supplements as I normally do every day, guys. I take like a billion pills every day uh, for supplementation. Like, just because I know I don't. I mean, I do get them, but I just, I like to be cautious, okay? I like to make sure I get all my vitamins. So I, I just did something that I, I have to do. Anyways, long story short, I was taking my supplements and then, I don't know why the fuck. I just happened to just take something and it just got lodged in my trachea. Oh, I started vomiting. Yeah. That's what happened. So I was also, so I was taking my supplements and then I just started vomiting, but I, I didn't want to puke all over the place. So I held it in. Hey, I was God. vomiting in bed here. I, I had to get up to run to the washroom. He tried to run to the sink and he like let it out, but I guess he was still kind of like in the midst of getting everything up. And I made him laugh and he like inhaled one of the pills back into his throat. Yeah, it was fucking oh, absolute guys. And I didn't know he was choking, so I was laughing there, thinking like, ah, ha, ha, we're so funny. And then I see him going like, <gasps> yeah. And I'm like, oh my god, what the fuck? She had to give me the high. Like, guys, when I tell you, I legitimately almost died. Like, I swear on my life, I swear to God. Like, Walla Baba Ji saw, swear to God on Jesus. Like everybody, I'm gonna like fucking save my life last <laughs> night. Like, she actually had to give me the Heimlich maneuver. The pill flew out. Um, yeah, it went everywhere, all over my hands and stuff too. Oh, it was fucking nah. It went all over the clothes. It was like one of the sweaters that I'm supposed to wear for the shoot today. I think oh. it got on some of it. But I'm sure if I explain that I almost died, they, they'll they'll be okay with it. So yeah, that, so first night in LA, almost died. I wish I, I wanted to like I actually thought about grabbing my camera and then recording it, but honestly, I was too busy on like trying to, Try sort, not to die. yeah, trying not to die oh, to, to even think of that. Um, my throat hurts so fucking much right now. It feels like it hurts to breathe. Um, it feels like somebody, you, you, like it feels like somebody like shoved a long tube down my lungs. I feel so bad because you have to go like film today and stuff. Yeah, I don't. Oh yeah, it's clear. gonna be so hard because I'm gonna be talking all like filming is twelve hours today. Like we're filming from ten a.m. till ten p.m. almost. 
and I'm gonna be talking all day, and oh, it's gonna fucking suck. It's gonna you be a lot of fun. Lots of water yeah, I have to. Lubricated. Yeah, and I have to explain to them what happened. So yeah, fun stuff. Almost died. But yo, like legit, Emma fucking pulled through, did the Heimlich maneuver, like that. That's such a fucking war. like, guys. Like, had she not done that, like, I want you guys to know, like, I would be, like, actually, I would have died in this hotel room. I would have died on that floor right there if Emma had not done that. Hey, look, there's a classic car wash across the street. That's our view right now. <laughs> that, like, right now it's Whoa, morning what fog. The hell? They yeah. go all the way around. That's yeah. crazy. So right now there's some morning fog, but when that's come, clears come up, closer, come closer, come closer. I don't want to get. My junk on camera. Well, wouldn't be the first time. Yeah, you know. <laughs> look at the hills. I'm like, yeah, so I would have died on that bathroom floor last night, but look how nice the hills are. <laughs> I'm sorry I haven't given you guys too much of an update. Um, we were on set yesterday and it was fucking crazy. It was so cool. It was so much fun. Um, it, it was 12 hours of filming and I was so fucking exhausted and I just woke up now and I'm exhausted. Oh, actually, I didn't just wake up right now. I just went to the gym, but I'm exhausted as shit. But this is my morning view right now, and honestly, it's fucking beautiful. So, it's all worth it. It's a lot of fun. I want to see if I can get you guys on set and coming with us uh, to, to do some cool stuff. But I want to touch up on, like, I am so grateful for, for life right now. After what happened the other night with me, like, puking and, and choking and Emma having to give me the Heimlich maneuver, that was fucking so scary and i'm just so thankful to to be alive like it's it's really kind of like settling in and hitting me right now that i should like legitimately when i tell you guys this like i'm not kidding like if Emma was not here with me i would have died on that bathroom floor like i i'm not joking um so it's just very fucking i'm just very very thankful right now just very happy to be alive and uh yeah i don't know I want to do some touristy stuff soon, hopefully, and I want to take you guys with me because I, I don't know, I don't know if all of you have been to LA, and I'd like to show you guys LA. I might just went to rub lotion on my back because your boy's biceps are too big that I can't reach, you know, like, oh, it's a quick body flex, let's go, but like, your boy's biceps are too big, I can't reach my back, so I had Emma, um, you know, put lotion on my back, and you want to show them what you saw? There's like nail marks. Yeah, there's like nail marks. <laughs> Do you guys see these like nail marks in his back? Like they're, it looks like. Hmm. Also, like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's from the mic that I had on the show, but it's not going away. Yeah, it's been there since yesterday. So. That's what happens when you belt it for 12 hours. I know, right? But. In the heat. Also, guys, look at this mirror. Your boy is looking juicy. We just finished day two of filming. It was dope. I'll tell you guys more later.